you ever run away from home as a kid? It was not nearly as cool as the Runaways comic. That's just how I feel. Sometimes I want to start these videos with like a thing that would go just before an intro, except that I don't have an intro that I play anymore, so it's just a thing that exists. Anyway, I'm going to talk about Runaways today. I'm talking about both the original Brian K. Vaughn comic and also the new Hulu show that just came out. Uh, so I have not read all of Runaways, but I have read the original run, like the original set of comics, and I've watched the entire first season on Hulu. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the things that I like about both of them. Uh, the original comic series centers around this group of kids who find out that their parents are supervillains and decide that they're going to fight back. And then they find out that their parents are not only like villains, but also are worshiping these crazy gods that want to destroy the entire world. And their parents have agreed to help them with the understanding that they will survive the apocalypse or more accurately, their children will survive the apocalypse. Uh, the basis of the Runaways TV show is very similar. Uh, the few marked differences, well, there are several pretty big differences, uh, but one of the biggest ones is that in the comics, everything is from the perspective of the kids. And so you see everything through their eyes, you know how they feel about their parents, you are totally fine with them fighting their parents, trying to take them down, you know, attacking them, going crazy, all that kind of stuff. And in the end of the first string, they actually get their parents killed. Technically, they didn't kill them. It was the Gaborum, which is the crazy god characters, like, destroyed them. But their parents died. And you end up being like, yep, that was correct. Their parents were evil. Not at all the case in the television show. In the television show, because you need to expand this world, and also because you don't want to give a bunch of actors two-dimensional characters to play, you see both sides. So you see the kid's side and then you also see the parent's side and they have altered the story just enough that it's clear that the parents aren't necessarily as like gung-ho about this as it seemed in the comics. Uh, try not to like let the two influence each other. So I don't want to think that the parents were maybe nicer in the comics than I thought. Uh, but they've done a beautiful job of bringing the elements of the comics to life, like the characters and their powers. Uh, and it's certainly unique as far as most of the superhero shows go. Because, like, Carolina, her power is basically, like, she absorbs sunlight and can send it back out. But she looks like some sort of iridescent bubble not a bubble, but like an iridescent person, like her skin becomes all iridescent. And so in the show, they do this overlay that makes it look like she's got just rainbow stars everywhere. And I think it's gorgeous. Gert's power is that she's telepathically linked to a dinosaur. And so they have to bring a dinosaur to life in the television show, which they did through a mixture of computer animation and then really awesome puppets that the kids can interact with. And I just think it's been very brilliantly done. I think it has brought a new dynamic to sort of what Marvel has been doing in television. It is a brighter light than like, let's say the Netflix series have been, uh, but it still has that like down to earth feel. The other cool thing about Runaways is that it's set in California, in LA. So that makes it drastically different from basically everything we've gotten from the Marvel universe so far, because almost entirely everything has been New York or at least East Coast based. And so it's cool to see the other side of the country. And also I think it'll be fun in the future. They have been renewed for season two and so they'll get to play with some of the characters that get pulled in in the comics as it moves along. Uh, and Hulu has been a nice platform for this. They released it on a weekly basis. I've just really enjoyed it. Plus Gert, who has the dinosaur is one of my favorite characters and I love how she's been portrayed on screen. She's awesome because she's smart and she's sarcastic, but she's not skinny and pretty. And it's one of the things that she actually mentions about herself. And still you really like her and it's clear that she is like meant to be a leader. And so that's really neat. 
Uh, one thing I'm concerned about is that there is a betrayal in the end of the first set of Runaway Comics, and that betrayal has not happened yet in the show, and there's no guarantee that it will happen in the show, but man, do I just keep waiting for that shoe to drop. Oh so yeah, if you have read the Runaways comic or seen the television show, please leave a comment and let me know what you thought, especially if you've done both, because I'm interested in what you liked in the show versus what you liked in the comics. For example, I really love the stories of the parents, uh, but in the comics I liked the involvement of other characters, which clearly it's tough for them to do in the shows right now. And so just tell me what you think. I love it when I get comments, even though they're few and far between, and I'll see you tomorrow.